Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we finally made it back to Pirate Island, and we saved everybody, and kicked the Valuans in the nuts. <clears throat> so, let's start talking. Hello. Guys, we took care of the island real good whilst you were gone. Aren't you proud of us? We did almost all this by ourselves. Excellent. While you were gone, I fixed a bunch of stuff here on the island. Yeah, now I feel like I can do anything. Well, almost anything. Your mum helped me move some boxes and stuff. Ah, oh, good old mum. Isn't that lovely? Um, who else? And you as well. Base, you're home. You made it back. I missed you so much. I was worried you wouldn't make it back. Well, I did, so... Merry Christmas, or something. Um, now, nothing going on in here. Apparently. Yeah, so there was a treasure chest in here, apparently. Uh, but we did get this one. Because Chris was a little bit concerned. Yeah, you see? In the vegetable patch. This uh, treasure chest used to contain sacred crystals times three. Yeah, we did. We got them all. Um, now, uh, let's go and say hello to the old woman. Hello. Hello. They say there are six moons in this world. Red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and silver. Remember to pray to each of them before you start on your next journey. It's always best to be in favor of all the moons. Yeah, well, go pedal thy shite elsewhere, love. Who else have we got? Ah. Hey, Vase, did you know there are six different colors of magic? I could teach you them if you want. Ah, uh, go on then. Green magic uses the power of nature to heal the recipient's body. The Sacri line of spells are all healing spells. However, there's also the Noxie line of green spells that use powers of nature to poison your enemy. Red spells are fire-based spells. The Pyrie line of spells consume <coughs> will consume all enemies in the sight with intense flames. There is also the Ingram line of spells that will intensify the recipient's fighting skills and increase their attack power and defense. I don't know too much about purple spells, but I understand there's a line of spells called uh, Crystalli. I've also heard rumors of a purple spell that has the power to affect the mind of its target. Interesting. I don't know too much about the blue spells. Rumor has it that they include spells that slow your enemy down or put him to sleep. Also, I've heard that there are spells called uh, Weevily that can summon a small vortex to damage a small group of enemies. The yellow spells are lightning spells. One useful group of spells is Electri. Uh, it attacks all enemies in a straight line. There's also one called Drillin that reduces your enemy's agility as well as all of his other combat abilities. And finally, there are the silver spells. Very few people have studied the spells, so there isn't much known about them. But what I do know is they supposedly a spell that can cure any kind of physical ailment. And I've heard there's a spell to revive someone who's been knocked unconscious, as well as one that can actually kill your enemy instantly. Ooh, that sounds nice. Well, aren't we a little confident? Ah, <laughs> that's okay, though. If you th think of any questions, uh, don't be too proud to ask, okay? Yeah, all right, dude. <clears throat> well, it doesn't seem like you know a huge amount yourself. During battle, your enemies can do more than physical damage to your party. If you want, I can teach you about these adverse... Uh, no. Really? All right then. I guess you'll just have to learn by experiencing them firsthand. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, once the battle is over, any impairments that you were suffering from will disappear immediately. So don't bother trying to cure yourself after the battle's done. You'll just be wasting your time. Yeah. All right, dude. Whatever. Cool. Uh, looks like they even rebuilt Ika's house, but they repaired the hole in her wall. Which is cool, I guess. Wait a second there, I may be an air pirate, but I'm a gentleman. I refuse to look through a lady's dresser without permission. You sap. Both of Ika's parents passed away when we were still little kids. So there's only one bed <coughs> in her place. She tosses and turns in her sleep a lot, so she... Needs a rather large bed. Ah, oh, I seem to know a lot about her. That's pretty harsh. Bit of background story there. All right, fair enough. They really built this stuff up quick, huh? Looks like they chopped the trees down too. Okay, so 
Now, there are some charms that we can finally get. Um, they're downstairs, though. Yeah, we need to go downstairs. Hey, ladies. What's going on? Baze, I just wanted to thank you for bringing my husband home. I know that lazy bum couldn't have saved himself, even if he tried. <laughs> he may be a lazy bum, but a lazy bum, but I still love him. I've realised that when he was gone, I missed him so much. But you better not tell him that. No, I won't. Welcome home, Vase. I hear you caused quite the commotion over in Valua. <laughs> your father must be quite proud of you. Don't tell her I told you this, but your mother was worried sick about you whilst you were gone. She was so happy that you came home safely. Yes, all that mischief that we've been causing. Gee, I hope it doesn't come and, uh, you know, bite us in the ass later. Nah, that would be silly. Where's mum? Oi, mum. Do we... Where is mum? Probably down. Having some fun time with dad, if you know what I mean. You know, never thought... Uh, she would see him again. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, face, face. Cut the ball. Let's go. <clears throat> right. Now... I guess we're going to go downstairs and go into the main pirate bay. We might be able to actually buy some new stuff. Wait a minute. I was going to say, I was almost fooled myself. Almost. <clears throat> right, I need coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can, we, our first cham. What's wrong, Cupel? Squeak, squeak. Really? Here? Yeah, I see. Baze, Cupel tells me there's a cham around here somewhere. Cham? What's that? <clears throat> Chams are little shards from moonstones that fell and shattered when they hit the ground. Cupel eats them as food. Really? Wow. I didn't know anything could eat moonstones. Where can you find them? What do they look like? You can find them all over the place, but they're very small, so they're hard to see. But I'm sure Cupel will let you know whenever we get close to a cham. He can't seem to sit still or be quiet whenever there's food nearby. I see. So all we have to do is search the ground whenever Cupel starts going a little crazy, right? Let's see if we can find anything here. The more you feed Cupel, the stronger he will become. He'll be able to change into different shapes and inflict more damage on enemies in battle as he grows. Yeah, so um, the thing with Fina, now she's in our party. Oh god, she's level 1. Dude. Well, the thing about Fina is you can't equip her with different weapons, uh, unfortunately. She only has Cupel. An artificial life form created by the Silverlights. Cupel has been with Fina since she was four. Um, but as we feed Cupel different amounts of charms, he will turn into different weapons, doing more damage. Now... The important thing to remember with Cupel is there's quite a complicated list of how to feed him charms in the right order. Um, now, there's... How many charms is there? There is uh, a lot, by the way. <clears throat> there is... 20... 30... There's 30 charms to find. And then... There's a Brack Chams or something as well. There's four of those which we also have to feed him. Uh, now, to make him his ultimate form, we have to feed him all of the Chams and all of the um, Enhanced Chams uh, in one shot. So he has to have them all in one go. Now, apparently... Um... We can feed him another type of cham that will make him be sick and throw all of the chams up. So, I think we can quite happily feed him all the different chams. Uh, Vase, what did uh, what you did back in Valua was amazing. i never seen you fight so hard. You've become quite the air pirate. Captain Dine has trained you well. I'm sure you'll make a fine captain someday, just like your father. Thanks, dude. Right, didn't actually want to go down there, but okay, kind of wanted to stay up there and find the jam, just so I can mark it off the map. Alright, let's go back up. Don't be a wanker, son, come on. 
Now, on the Dreamcast, when the uh, you're close to a cham, the VMU and the controller, the vibration pack, went absolutely mental. Come on. So it's definitely here somewhere. Come on. The only way, unfortunately, to find it is to mash the button. It seems to be, like, literally around here somewhere, because the controller is vibrating like crazy. Oh, there we go. No, we don't care about the cranes. Ah, there we go. Received the first cham. Cool. So that is cham number uno. On Pirate Island. Done. So there's another one on Shrine Island. We're going to go get that when we can. <coughs> um, now, there's another moonfish down here as well. Bottom of the underground ship dock. Uh, let's go and have a little look. And then we're all up to date with everything on this particular island. Probably should have gone and spoke to Dine first, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Now, I think it's right at the bottom. Now, I've got descriptions for like where everything is, but they're not exactly 100%. Uh, since your ship is equipped with a harpoon cannon, you should be able to ram your way through the stone reefs. You can get through the stone reef that lies east of Sailor's Island. You can reach the content of Nassar. Yeah. And we need to go there as soon as we can so we can start making some more discoveries. Now, what are we looking for? I think it's right down here we need to be. Uh... I was a little floaty fish thing. Where the fuck would I be? Alright, well, let's... Oh, there's dying anyway. Sad, the fate of the captured air pilot. Sad is the fate of the captured air pilots. They make his head part from his shoulders. And a yo-ho. Oh, he's just singing away. Man, that famous song almost came true for us. We were so close to actually kissing the executioner's block. You were. What's wrong, Vase? If you're looking uncharacter you're looking uncharacteristically grim. Dad, actually, there is something that I have to tell you. Don't worry, I have a feeling I already know what you're gonna say. I remember when I was your age, the feeling that I had to get away from my own little island and see the rest of the world. But there but when a man decides to step out on his own path, he doesn't need to ask for his parents' permission. From now on, you are my equal son. A man who lives by the skies. There is nothing more honourable than that. Yeah, well, uh, you're not really much of a pirate anymore, da uh, Dine, because you don't have your own ship. So, yeah, you're late on almost every other occasion, but you sure aren't wasting any time to try and get out on your own. Dad, go on, get out of here, Vase. Go make your mark in the world. Thanks, Dad. I hear that you've decided to leave. Your father's told me all about it already. <coughs> what, like, you weren't listening in on the conversation? <clears throat> but I know you well enough to figure it won't be long before you'd yearn to travel the skies by yourself. Mum, it's okay, dear. Everybody ultimately has to fly away from their parents' nest. I knew it was just a matter of when. I know this day will be coming sometime. It's just... It's just that it came a lot sooner than I expected. Or hoped. So stand tall, son. Go chase after those dreams that you've always talked about. And make sure you take care of Ica too, okay? Yeah, well, I think she's probably going to be taking care of me, because, well, aha, there it is. Because let's be fair, Ika's bailed us out a couple of times already. Uh, hey, little weird fish thing. Come and uh, be food for my friend. Um, yeah, this is a little bit awkward. How do I? Ah. There we go. Literally got a step on the right bit there. Whoop. Moonfish was caught. Excellente. So we've got the moonfish at the very... That's actually Moonfish 1, apparently. Well, we've got him now. Your soul is mine. Alright, cool. Uh, I suppose what we could do... Is go to the shop whilst we're here. Because we do want to try and grab some supplies as and when we can. 
And we need to start making some discoveries as well before uh, somebody else takes over. But at least now we can actually uh, get out of here properly. And we can go through the reef, which is very important for making discoveries. You know, the discoveries that I tried to make earlier, which was like humongously premature. Right, how's everyone get doing in here? Oh, hey. Mabel, Vase. If you're going out on a voyage, make sure you've equipped your best weapons and armor. Uh, an air pirate needs to make sure that his swords and wits are always sharp. Yes, we do. Talking about, like, sharp wit and all that kind of stuff. If we... Ah, Vase the Determined. That is our rank. Which I actually think is quite good. Right, let's go. We are Vase the Determined. Okay, so that is our swashbuckler rank. Go talk to this guy over here, shall we? Alright, pal. What's going on? Thanks to the healing crystals that N had, all of my wounds have healed and I'm feeling much better. Oh, and your new ship's called the Little Jack, right? I'll resupply it for you. Just sit back and relax there, Vase. Every port has got repair and resupply shops, but you need to spend the night if you want your ships fixed. So if you get into a ship battle and your ship gets badly damaged, just get yourself to the nearest port and you should be fine. Yeah, so I guess that gets fixed for free. As long as you stay at the end. This is cool. Yeah. Because ship repairs are quite expensive. At least the items are. Hey Jackass. Well, if it isn't Little Vase, the Determined. Oh, he actually calls us that. Are you here to buy something? Let's talk. Most weapons, are, yeah, we know that. Yes, 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 yes. So, have you got anything new? We've got nearly eight grand in the bank. Uh, nope. Doesn't really have anything new for us. You suck, dude. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you could have, like, you know... Well, I suppose they don't have a ship to go plundering anymore, do they? Well, if it isn't Vase the Determined, sounds like you're starting to make a name for yourself. There, your dad must be proud. Let's see what you've got for us. Uh, so we've got... Yeah, magic droplets. Let's get some sacral crystals. Uh, I guess... We could go for 20, really. It doesn't cost much. And we will burn through those. Oh, that doesn't sit right with me. Let's just get two more. There we go. So we've got 40 of those bad boys. Let's get... These are a little bit more. How many do we have? 24. So that's uh, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. A little bit of gold, but I think it's worth it. So we've got 40 of each. Cura um, cures all adverse effects. Yeah, except for unconscious. Not convinced that's humongously worth it, but we'll get... We'll get a stock of them, just in case. Alright. Should be pretty well equipped. I don't think she's going to say anything new either, so let's just go. <clears throat> Always pays to be stocked right up. Now, let's get out of here. Let's go save it. And uh, we want to start making our way back to Shrine Islands, because there's some chams there. That's the wrong way. We're going to want chams... And what else is there? Hmm. There's one of those fish things too. So we'll go get those things done. So you might as well start knocking these things off as and when we can. Now, I don't know the most optimal route <laughs> to get everything, but we're going to try our best. Right, let's drop a good old save. All right. There we go. Right, let's bounce. Thank you all so much for rescuing me from the Valuants. I hope that I will be able to repay you all someday. Just worry about keeping those moon crystals out of the hands of the Valuants. And Vase, we're all counting on you too. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Dad. I won't let you down. Well, I guess we should get going. We'll be back soon. Bye, Captain. Bye, everyone. Baze, Ica, are you sure you want to do this? 
Fina, there's no way we can turn this down. After all, what you told us about the Gigas, I don't even want to think about what the value an empire would do if they got their hands on them. We're the only ones that can stop them. And well, to be completely honest, I've always wanted to sail the world, and this is my chance. Moon crystals, lost cities, strange lands. I want to see them all with my own eyes. This is my chance to find out what's really out there. God, this sets the game up so well. We really do get a nice sense of adventure for this game. Fino, you couldn't stop us from going even if you tried. This is the kind of an adventure that air pirates dream of. If we pass this up, we would regret it for the rest of our lives. I understand. Thank you. Thank you all. Fina, do you have any idea where the crystals might be? Well, according to the ancient legends, there should be a moon crystal hidden in the lands under each of the moons. The closest one from here is the yellow moon of Valua and the red moon of Nas... Well, there's no chance of getting back into Valua right now. You should probably wait a while before going back there. If you go east from here, you'll reach Nasa. With a normal ship, you'd probably never make it through the stone reefs on the way. But now the little Jack is equipped with a harpoon cannon, you've got a pretty good chance of making it through. Yes. Sounds like a plan. We're heading east to Nasa, and then we're going to get that uh, red moon crystal. We've been standing around here long enough. Let's get going. Well, Dad, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Remember everything I've taught you. Make us proud, son. All right. So, I think our first port of call is going to be Shrine Island. Let's go. We're going to take a quick detour down there. Music's changed a little bit. Yeah, grab some fish along the way, you know. If we're going back to Shrine Island, we might have another chance of finding that boomerang. Oop. So, Shrine Island. We need to find... Um, there's no moonfish, is there? Yeah, no. No moonfish here, but... There is a cham. Uh, probably don't need to save it. Yeah, we might bump into some more uh, fishies. So, go to the... Uh -huh. We're probably going to have to just run around here for a while. Go back inside. So, what does it say? Go to the level of the Shrine Island, where the stairs going down to the spot where you found the moonstone before. So we just go all the fucking way down. Well, that's okay. You know, and it's a good excuse to come back here and listen to that music again. That's if... Yep, <laughs> I was going to say that's if there's even any enemies there. So what are we fighting this time? Ah, uh, just these guys again. Alright, well, you know the drill, guys. Yeah, we're getting like zero XP from this. Although, it's a good idea to bring Vina here because she'll actually like get some levels. Because my god, she's weak. As you'd imagine, being level one. Okay, keep going. Now, I probably should show off uh, Fina's attacks, to be honest, but uh, there's nothing real. Oh. Right. Pretty sure we need to go right down there. Or do we? I'd like to fill the. Is it really here? I thought we had to go further down. Maybe not though. We we'll kind of like to have a look down there. Hmm. Not sure. Where are you? Are you really up 
up here. I'd, I'd like you to be up here. Sure as shit, save me some time. Uh. Come on. So that's that. Where are you? I don't think it's here, you know. I think we're being japed. It's got to be further down, surely. Oh. Or is it? Ah. Huh. Alright, well, let's continue exploring for now. Let's see if it's further down, but that doesn't make any sense. Right, let's go right round, because it's possible. It's unlikely, but it's possible. It's a little bit further down. Maybe we're just getting a little bit of overlap. But that doesn't really make any sense, though, does it? Does it? We're definitely not getting many enemy encounters, which is nice. <clears throat> and there we go with my big mouth. What are we fight in? Oh, I guess we can show this battle off so we can actually see Bina's attack. And of course, she uses silver magic. Well, that kind of was basic, I guess. Now, have we got everyone using a unique moonstone? I think we have. Now, obviously... Yeah, everyone's now... Hey, we got the throwing blade. There we go. That's like the mega rare... Uh, like 2% drop or something. Um, let's see if it's actually any good, though. The value rang. Uh, unfortunately, it's not that good. Like, if we'd found that earlier, it would have been worth a lot. An ancient weapon found near the Sailor's Island, thought to have been used for wood and stonework. Yep, well, we've got it now. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> So yeah, um, our attack, well, Cupel's base attack is he scrunches himself up into a ball and flies at the enemy. I think his next evolution, from what I can remember, is he turns into... Ah, there we go. There we go. Got ya. Got the charm. Cool. Now we can get out of here. Yeah, his one of his next evolutions, I believe is he turns into a knife. Like a stabby, sharp, bread knife type thing. Uh, right. That was easy. Right, what have we got? Eh, bug all XP. But Fina's gonna level, which is nice. Be nice to get her to like level, I don't know, five or six by the time we're done with this place. Um... Can we go straight up there? I don't think we can, can we? No, because it's blocked off there, yeah. So we do have to go back the way we came, which is a bit shitty, but it's okay. So next stop would be Sailor's Island. Really? Really, game? Really? What we got? Ah, big fish boy. Hey, well, she ranked up at least. She ranked up in green. What moon crystal is she using? Should be using silver, right? Not 100% sure if we can change the crystal there. You might have to do it in combat. I can't remember. You probably can change it there, I just can't remember. 
Okay, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, how this game never got a HD uh, upgrade uh, is really frustrating. But I'd love to see this in nice crisp HD with improved textures and things. Now, I know I can play it on an emulator, um, but eh. Not that I mind like using emulators, of course. I'd quite happily use one if I had to, but yeah, we might get it to level five before we get her out of here. I mean, there's some the I just Dolphin, uh, the GameCube emulator. I've never really had a lot of luck with it. It requires, at least from what I've seen, anyway, from my <laughs> basic experience with it. It requires a lot of playing around. Uh, should we feed the chams? No, I'm not going to feed the chams yet. I'm going to have a quick look, see if I can find a cham guide. Because I don't want to fuck it up. I want to be able to get um, our ultimate weapon. <clears throat> Level 5. Nice. Well, she's got a hell of a lot more energy now. So, that's good. A hell of a lot more energy. What's her health up to now? 500. Uh, yeah. It's better, okay? It's not brilliant, but it's better. And I'm happy to take better. Right, now I don't think we ever need to come back here again. Which is nice. Because there's not really a lot here, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get attacked on the way out. <clears throat> okay. Right, so I'm going to drop a save there, guys. We're going to get out of Shrine Island. And when we come back, well, more exploring to be done. Because we've got uh, to head... Yes, we're heading to Sailor's Island next. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.